Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. So Texas, also a state that's open and uh, and ready to roll uh, for this uh, holiday that's coming up, I suppose. So let's see how Texas is going to do in March uh, after St. Patrick's Day, and um, let's get right into it. So for this reading, I'm going to use the Golden Dawn uh, Tarot, and these are uh, Robert Wang and Israeli Rigardi, and uh, these cards are very colorful. They're a gentle uh, spirit. And I used some cards earlier for a reading on Florida that just didn't want to cooperate. I think they didn't want to tell that story. But these uh, cards, I think, are going to be uh, better. Um, the slicky nature of these things makes them easier to, to shuffle, to deal with the devil. And uh, so we're going to see uh, how these cards portend a future for Texas regarding what's going to happen after, um, after St. Patrick's Day. Um, I just worry... Gosh, I also spent some time in Texas, several years, I guess six years, um, and um, I found that the government in Texas, if I was if I was concerned about the government in Florida, I was like triple concerned about the government in Texas. So if you're some Texans out there, I did have some wonderful times in Texas. Um, Austin is a beautiful place. Houston is really congested, mega. Uh, I don't know what. I, I always had a lot of anxiety when I had to go to Houston. Um, but we've had some wonderful folks come out of Texas and some amazing, it's a huge economic engine, but then that is what the Republicans are about primarily. They're about the economics of life and with not that much focus on, on the people. It seems like to me, it seems like there's a fake, uh, focus on the people. Kind of when you go into one of those, uh, when you go into a church that you realize, oh, this this church here, this pastor is really more about getting the tithe out and uh, so he can drive off in his nice Cadillac and so him and his family can take uh, cool vacations on our uh, 10%. And you realize that and you say, well, let me go find something else that's better for me than this. And that's kind of how I feel, I'm sorry to say, about, um, about this state. I hope I don't run people off with that. But anyway, we'll cut these uh, cards and then we'll put them back together and then we'll shuffle them once and we'll get right into talking about texas and the covid crisis and saint patrick's day so cards let me know what's going to happen um what's the deal with saint patrick's day this uh, or saint patrick's outcome of this year in texas i'm going to take six cards as usual this one really seemed to want to slip out to me anyway That's six. Put these back together. Save them for the final four. That's interesting. That we're going to need in a minute. And we're going to see who is the signifier card for Texas regarding St. Patrick's Day. The fool. <laughs> well, I guess sometimes the fool can just be a fool. But really, the fool speaks to, and this is a really sweet card. This little guy is starting out on his journey. He's plucked a rose. And look, that looks like a yellow rose of Texas, doesn't it? Is there such thing as a rose tree? So this uh, this fool has started off on his journey. He's got a big dose of conscience behind him and a beautiful, bright day and fruitful, but it just reminds you of, you know, taking the forbidden fruit almost. And uh, so that's the fool's, the fool is a signifier regarding St. Patrick's Day aftermath in Texas. What's the challenge to that? The challenge to that is uh, compassion. And the Ace of Cups, if it's nothing else, then it's, it's a big offer of compassion. And uh, so that's going to be the challenge to this uh, fool's start uh, regarding St. Patrick's Day and the aftermath in Texas. The basis of this, of this reading, which is going to tell us the overall tone, is the Five of Cups. And this Five of Cups is, a, is, is an offer. It's, uh, it's, we're, we're gone up here. We've said, listen, this is a fruitful uh, situation that we've come into and we've got some cups floating off to the side but um, we want to make things happen in a compassionate way five of cups is the basis of that reading we're going to come to the recent past for 
uh, St. Patrick's Day or for Texas in this regard, and that's the King of Swords. And the King of Swords tells us that, um, you know, we've got a strong um, master of what's right, but, you know, this sword for this king is just a tiny little sword. And the horse, to me, seems to be trotting off in, in uh, not the right way. He's anxious to get going. He's ready to take a step. The king has, has got him in his hand, but he's waving this 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 smallish um, symbol of of justice. Really, in the sky for St. Patrick's Day in Texas is the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups is a great big um, um, master of emotions. Um, this queen has a a. Um, is offered up a nice cup here, and she has a symbol of the lobster. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the lobster represents, but when you see it in, in for instance, the moon card, you see the lobster crawling out of the depths of the uh, ocean of uh, passion and compassion with some sort of reveal. So I would say this this queen and lobster, I don't know. This queen just seems like she's, she's trying to hold on to what uh, she can to master these emotions. In the near uh, future for St. Patrick's Day, we've got the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles is always, you know, coming in from out of the cold or, or wanting to be in from out of the cold. And much like this Five of Cups here, this Five of Pentacles is, is a fruitful Five of Pentacles. So maybe even though, you know, we'll have... Um, some issues perhaps, folks wanting to come in out of the cold, maybe the door will be open for them to do so. That's a shame. Um, not a shame that the door will be open, but a shame that they would have to look for comfort. The self of St. Patrick's Day in Texas is going to be eh, the devil. Of course it's the devil. And the devil is being chained to something so much larger than you um, and, and, and giving yourself up to it. You know, this devil is holding the wand upside down. He's burning his hand, and it doesn't bother him whatever. So, you know, that's the symbol of the self right now in Texas um, regarding St. Patrick's Day. The environment of that card, then, is the six of wands. And wands always speak to us of motion and movement and decisions and making things happen. And these two these two hands have come together to master these five wands in, in this um, environment hopefully. The uh, hopes and the fears of this are the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands talks about making a plan for the future. It's um, looking ahead. You've got a grip. You haven't really decided which way you're going to go, but you are trying to make a plan for that future in Texas. So maybe, although they're going to be open, they're still thinking about the aftermath. And gosh, that would just be uh, a travesty to open the place up and then prepare for what you know is going to happen not good. Um, but that looks like that's the hopes and the fears. And then the final outcome for Texas is the Princess of Wands. And the Princess of Wands, again, it's a weak messenger in the court cards. The Princess is like the Page of Wands. So you've got the Princess, the Prince, the um, Queen, and the King. And so she's got her hand in the fire. She's holding on to this wand, ready to swing it around and, and make some moves. But her strength uh, isn't uh, what it would take to master that situation. So that's what I've got for Texas, um, March, uh, St. Patrick's Day. You know, I try to take myself out of these readings and just and just tell you what the cards uh, in, interpret. And um, but there is emotion involved here. You know, I do care. So if you're partying in Texas, if you're planning something in Texas, it's going to be big and uh, and bold for St. Patrick's Day. My goodness, please be safe. Please take care of yourselves and. Um, and uh, don't be the devil, okay? But my name is Mark. This is my journey through tarot. I really appreciate that you've come by. I'll be here next time. So stop on by and let's have a chat. Tell me what you'd like to be read on uh, in the comments, and I'll work it in. What else have I got to do?